So why don't you bring yourself into a meditative place, feet on the floor, and if you aren't writing, you can turn your palms up on your lap and just be in a more receptive feel. And gently close your eyes. And take a breath, a nice big breath in. <sighs> Let's do that again. And welcome yourselves, my Lemurian sisters and brothers, and my Lemurian husband, into this moment, the energy that we share, that we co-create together. And just from these few moments, sink into that energy deeply. Just let yourself physically and mentally just soften. Notice if your crown chakra is feeling anything. And imagine it's just rising up as your spine lengthens and you become an antenna for healing energy, for informational energy in this moment. And perhaps your palms are also beginning to feel a vibration. Together, we open these doors and we enter the space and we invite the cry on energy, we invite the blessings of this day, we invite the message and the love. Greetings, dear ones, I am Cryon of Magnetic Service. And there are still those who do not believe that what you see is appropriate. Or that it is accurate or true or even real. And there will always be those, even in the room who have come, who say the man is pretending. And there is no proof otherwise. And there never will be. For this is a quantum experience, and always has been. That is to say, that part of you which chooses to tune in to a different kind of intuitive energy will actually see the colors around my partner, who will know that this is a quantum state he's in, an entangled state to me. And I've been with him for life for this. And that it took him four years to open the door because he was afraid. And so I know who is here. And I know that the door is not going to fly open because you came to the meeting. But I'm going to ask you for a favor, dear one, dear unbeliever. You're here for the day. For whatever reason, you're here for the day. Is it possible, and what would it harm you, to release that intellectual attitude that keeps you from seeing God? Can you open the door to possibilities? Could you start to ask, dear spirit, could I feel the energy? Could I know something? Is there any sign that this is real? And you will get it, where this is free choice, dear human being. Now for the rest of you, who already feel the energy and know that this is so and this is true, I have a message that is profound. A 
My partner has waited 23 years to give you this truth. That old souls came in here. Doesn't matter whether you're a teenager or a hundred. Your age is meaningless. Dear soul, it is only in the scheme of your Akashic inheritance that finds you on this planet the age you are for reasons that you know. The truth of the matter is those who are young will be here a long time in this energy and will develop it. And those who are seniors are coming right back to do the same thing. Right back. And here is the difference to all of you. Here is the difference. You have arrived at a starting place where the seeds are being planted in this planet so that the things that you believe and you teach and you feel and that you are are going to be supported for the first time. The ethers line up. The planets, different energy all over the solar system, magnetics coming from places you didn't think it even would come from. Startling it is for those who study the solar system to see what is taking place with physics. Oh, things are arriving to help you and you can't even see them. You can't see magnetics, you can't see gravity. And you don't have any trouble with that. And when somebody mentions perhaps that there are, there are angels or guides, you walk the other way. Can't go with that, can you? You can go with physics, but not God's physics. Now let me tell you what is happening here. In the channel tonight, I'm going to give you information, some scientific, some not, about what is happening here. You turn the corner. I want you to go into your gosh with me right now, old soul. There's three newbies in the room. The rest are old souls. Three of you have just arrived. <laughs> and I will tell you, it has nothing to do with age. The youngest among you are the oldest souls. <laughs> Did you hear that? I know who's here. I know who's here. There are those awakening. There are things that have happened to you in life you cannot understand why now, what's going on. Some of you have been put in positions of sorrow, uncomfortability, and I'll tell you what that's about, to keep you from moving where you would have moved, dear one. To keep you in a place where good things are going to happen. I know who's here. I see. Look, look at the inheritance in this room. Who have you been? What have you gone through? How many families did you have to lose because they thought you were a little too strange? That's not the first time. I know who's here. What happens when you awaken to a truth? I'll tell you. You can't move backwards. You can't unknow it, can you? And you act upon it, and it puts you in a category of oddness. And they're all around you. They know it. You don't do what they do. Therefore, you're odd. Not just this lifetime. I would like to bring up something that some of you are very aware of. Baked into your akash. You don't want to go around bonfires much, do you? Because <laughs> you were in one of them more than one time. You don't think I know who's here? I want to tell you my entourage kneels right now. I want you to feel this. We're on our knees. We just help. You've got to do the work. You've got to decide. You've got to make the commitment. You got to decide to come back. You got to work the puzzle over and over and over, and you've done it. We're on our knees because of you. This room has done their job. Nothing to do with age. You know who you are. You know who you are. And you work the puzzle. And you've been spat upon and burned at the stake. You've been in battles trying to defend yourself with a sword and lost. We're on our knees to you. 
That's your Akashic inheritance, old soul, and you come to this place a gentle, a gentle civilization. And I like to tell you that the energy is moving in your direction. And all will feel it. Not all will become what you would call a light worker or what you would call lunatic fringe. <laughs> but they're going to feel it and they're going to see it. I'll tell you more about this tonight. What happens when an earth changes its energy? And I'm going to tell you tonight, I'll give you the title, The Recalibration of Knowledge. Three channels we've given you. Tonight is the third. I have no clock. I already gave it. <laughs> One, the recalibration of wisdom. Two, I gave you the recalibration of the human being. I gave you and tonight the recalibration of knowledge. And yes, there will be a little science. You have to see the creator's mechanics in order to see and appreciate what you are moving forward into. Don't expect the pushback to be as hard. When you tell people you believe that you've been here before, watch, you don't get the same reactions 10 years ago. Watch, there is, there's not going to be near amount of the ostracization being cast out, being pushed away, because this is your time. Many are going to start feeling, it's okay, that makes sense. And you're going to ask, what happened to them? <laughs> the energy is going to start cooperating. Some of you have already seen it. There are 14 of you in this room, sitting in chairs, who have come because you're in trouble. I want to address something to you. Oh, no, you're not. You're in a precious place that is safe with family. That's where you are. That's where you are. And when you leave this place, depending upon what you do, the family walks out the door with you and you'll never be the same. Stand tall. I know who's here. And to those who don't believe this was real, I gave an invitation to open that, which is your intellectual heart, for quantum possibilities. And I say it again at the end of the day, if you're not satisfied that perhaps some of this might be for you, you can close it up again and walk out. And there is no judgment, there is only love. We're not expecting you to have a profound life change of mind in one meeting or ever. Did you know that there are souls on vacation in this room pretending to be detractors? <laughs> They're light workers taking a vacation. And they may know everything that I am telling you is accurate and true, and they will not act on it. It's not their time. They're waiting till the next time when they'll come in refreshed. That's part of the system. And that answers the question, what am I going to do about my unbelieving partner? And the answer is, love them, bless them, and ask them only for one thing, that they let you love God in your own way without judgment. That's all. Then under your breath, as you turn around, you can say, have a nice vacation. <laughs> You wouldn't have been with him if he hadn't seen God himself. And that's the truth. You look at these alliances that you put together in relations and realize what you do and why you do it. Sometimes it's time to move and you know that and sometimes it's time to reacquaint and you know that. I know who's here. Beautiful it is to watch old souls discover themselves. In this new energy, there will be a proliferation of wisdom, new epiphanies. For those in the chairs, it's your time. It's your time. We'll be back. And so it is.